welcome back to my channel. Shani's here of SMV Mobile Notary coming at you with some tips for your Saturday afternoon. Now this weekend, I wanted to focus my efforts on marketing in my local community, but I wanted to do it the old school way, the pre-COVID way. Going to local businesses, dropping off business cards, making conversation. I wanted to share a few things with you that I did today that I hope is helpful to help you expand your client base in your community. Now the first one, is about last week or a week and a half ago I went on Vista Print and ordered my thank you cards now I typically make these myself but I went on Vista Print and tried out their platform and here are my thank you cards now the inside is blank intentionally because I'm going to attach my business card which has my logo and information on it and I'm going to write a personal note. Of course, handwriting is always more intimate, so I definitely want folks around me to know that I took the time to send them a cute, nice little message. Going to attach that in our customized envelopes. Now I have two batches going out. The first is for uh, clients that I've already served, and it just says thank you. And I attach my business card as well, so they always have my information. And this batch is going to new clients, hopefully, that I'll send out on Monday. I'm going to be sending these to local businesses as well as the apartment complexes um, near my development. Now, one thing is key. Make sure you're keeping a client log of the address, the name, I mean the service that the client used because you want to be able to stay in touch with them. You want to send them holiday cards. If you're running a special or a deal, you want them to be the first to know about it because repeat clientele is pretty common with folks that need documents notarized. So always keep that in mind. Now the second thing I did today was go into local businesses. The first was UPS. Now UPS offers notary public services and they're definitely cheaper than the prices that I charge for my services. However, they have limited weekend availability and I believe they close around 5 p.m. on the weekday. That's definitely a new market of people that can use my services. So that was my intention going in there in the first place. Was I a little bit apprehensive and nervous to ask if I could leave my business cards? Absolutely. Did I go in there and leave my business cards? I left 15. The manager was really nice and we had a decent conversation. It was a nice interaction that just gave me confidence and the momentum to keep on going. So from there, I went to my local coffee shop, a Cuban restaurant where I eat pretty frequently. I probably eat there too much now I think about it. Oh my God. Um, and then a laundromat, which is about five minutes from my house. I do my laundry there very frequently. Now, if you're anything like me, you're a mix of an introvert and an extrovert. I love making new connections, meeting new people. I mean, that comes natural to me. However, when it comes to talking about my accomplishments, my talents, I mean, I just tend to get a little nervous. It makes me slightly uncomfortable. If you're in that bubble or share that same experience, I recommend practicing in the mirror. Have a two minute pitch ready. What do you wanna to say to people? How do you wanna convey your services? Practice makes perfect. The other aspect of that is start local. Go to places that you're familiar with. Go to places that people sort of recognize you. Maybe they don't know your name per se and they may not know you have a business, but they've seen you a couple of times. That little bit of familiarity can give you the confidence you need to start that conversation. During COVID-19, there are so many small and local businesses that have not been able to sustain. So do your due diligence, get in your community, support those businesses, even if you're buying a donut, a cup of coffee, or just having lunch there. Those interactions can also help you build your client base. So it's not just a one-way street or one-way exchange. By doing this, you're showing that you're also invested into the growth of their business in your community. So I do challenge you to do that at some point if you're looking to really market yourself and expand your clientele locally. Those are all the tips I have for you today on this Saturday afternoon. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, turn on your notifications so you know when I'm dropping new videos. Until next time, Notary World, SM The Mobile Notary, out.